Welcome to Philadelphia, man. To, to Detroit, Michigan. Well, are you guys from Detroit or the suburbs of, of South Detroit? Detroit. 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 Detroit ish. We're like okay. 30 minutes outside. That's like saying Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm 40 minutes north, but I'm from Philly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys have had one of the most incredible six months run of any band that I've spoken to. It's you know, I mean, a little video came out called Blank Space. And Yep. I think someone may have heard it. it was 10 million <laughs> views coming yeah, up on YouTube, man. Today, so. Yeah, just in 10 million today. So. Oh, what? it was today. Congratulations. Yeah, I, I just posted nice. last night because uh, the press release that God said you're 30,000 yeah, away. So yeah. woke up this morning and <laughs> some days. Yeah, so, yeah I, honestly, I think we, we all initially thought like five to 10,000 views was the big goal. Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't, I don't know how it happened, but. <laughs> Was that done on your own, or was that, I know that there was a Pop Goes Rock or something record. Were you guys a part of that, or is this something uh, you guys did on your own? Hey, that dude is funny, though. We did sign to a label called uh, Fearless Records, who does put out the uh, Pop Goes Pop series. But, uh, no, that was just, like, right when we launched, we decided, hey, you know, we're going to throw out a cover, but it wasn't anything to do with the Pop Goes Pop. All right, so whenever I speak to somebody who does a cover, there's millions of songs that have been written. Tell me, why, why Blank Space? I'll do it. <laughs> um, well, when we, uh, we sat December 2013 and started writing this whole record, the EP, uh, once we got done with it, it was about eight months to a year or so. Uh, right along the near the end, we were deciding whether we should launch with our album or should we do a cover to get some attention. Well, we decided to do the cover. Uh, the whole summer we spent um, waiting, looking up, um, there's websites you can look at, see who's got upcoming releases mm -hmm. and such. Um, we didn't see anyone that was not notable, but not that was just like a, a Katy Perry or a, or a Snoop Dogg or anything like that. There's nothing big coming out. So okay. we waited all summer long. Finally, near the end of summer, we saw Taylor Swift was coming out on an album. Perfect. Kind of awesome. I'm curious. You know, yeah. A couple of bands, too, we, we've you know, liked before covered Taylor Swift songs. So. Okay. Yeah, so when uh, when we saw that they were coming out, we uh, heard the first single and we're like, of course, everyone's going to try to cover it. If people are going to cover it, they're going to cover that. So we right. waited off on that. Then. Um, we got the CD and we all listened through it. We actually got like the leaked version of, <laughs> of the album. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. So wow. we found it. We're going through and we heard Blank Space and we're like, you know, with the lyrics and the like, vibe to it, we thought, you know, we could kind of put like a dark spin on this. It makes a great dark song. I yeah, would yeah. never yeah. have thought about that in a million years. Well, that's you know? the thing, man. People are listening to like the pop version of it and like the lyrics kind of go over, over everyone's head. But like, you know, in this kind of like, you know, rock version, you really get to, you know, Listen to the lyrics and people don't realize sometimes they're like, didn't even know it was the same song. You know? Yeah, we get a ton of people yeah. that are like, I didn't even know that was a cover. But not every song you could do that with, though. You know, I know Alien Ant Farm did it with uh, Michael Jackson, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right? And that sounds in like an amazing yeah. single on its own, you know? Yeah. And what you guys did with that song, it's, yeah, it's impressive, yeah. man. Yeah, you know, especially for such a, I mean, I'm sure she probably has, you know, 100 million views of, yeah. of the original, <laughs> you know, because so of her cool. fan base. But, yeah. you know, still, for 10 million views for a cover song of that, that's. Good job, man. Man. Yeah, like I said, yeah. it was still the five to ten thousand uh, view goal was, was always there. So yeah, every every view we get now is just like still my yeah. goal. So well, so now did that lead to you guys here today touring with Amaranth? Yeah, we did yeah. that. I mean, so you know, the cover blew up. It was actually funny. The cover hit number one on the uh, rock charts for iTunes, and then I would say maybe two days later, uh, it all peaked like in early January actually, because. Like he said, we released it like in December, but early January. It was December first we released the single, mm -hmm. and then December tenth we released our EP. Okay. So about yeah. a week, week and a half apart from each other. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, so the cover like got a big spike in, in January. I don't. I think Billboard actually posted an article about it, uh, which kind of got buzz, you know, going all around. And then right after that, uh, you know, the song flew up the charts. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we looked on. Oh, let's check out the album section to see if our album is doing anything. And we see it like 129th, and I remember we were freaking out about that initially. Then once we broke the heart. And then literally one day we saw this go. <coughs> Seriously? Oh, yeah, yeah man, that's actually awesome. It hit number one on the, uh, the rock. Um, the album rock, rock charts, charts. yeah. So, wow. Well, you know, I was listening to it on Spotify, so okay. it's on awesome. Spotify. Thank you. And then yeah. shortly after that, it was uh, 24 or 22 charts. Oh, uh, yeah, 24. 24 charts with our album and single, 24 charts in one week on Billboard. Yeah. So, and, and we were independent still at that time. We didn't have any label or marketing backing. So let's go back eight months ago. Okay. Is this what you thought would be happening? I was eight months ago. eight months ago. I was delivering pizzas and he was serving pancakes. That's freaking amazing. There you go. That's, that's unreal. So that was probably 
October. I mean, even three months. I mean, because I mean, we still, you know, all kept our jobs too. Um, a couple months into everything, so we would basically go work our jobs, come back home, we'd all chill in my apartment, pull out the laptop, start. That was a big thing too with our, you know, marketing. We always tried to reach out to as many people as possible. Hey, check out this cover. And, People that seem to run, uh, run with it. So that's pretty cool because that's how that's what bands can do nowadays. Yeah, yeah. social media you know? definitely has been a huge outlet for us. Just wow, you know, being able to have communication with you know so many of our fans. Which is I like the videos too. The video for um, and I'm going to mess up the uh, the song title, but uh, love, love lost and right, right, right yeah. killer video. Thank you. You know, and, and you guys are so intense even in the video. <laughs> you know, I'm first time I've seen you guys live tonight. I mean, I'm yeah, in the awesome. taking pictures, so I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. stoked. But. Uh, just, just the live visuals of you guys just rocking out. Yeah, just, we uh, love to. Uh, pretty intense. Intense. We love to definitely have a good time. Up there. Yeah, we have a lot. I uh, actually this will be the first venue that I actually, I'm attempting to get on the balcony from the stage. I usually go into the venue during the really? check and go, "What can I climb on today?" And I looked in here, I was like, "Perfect." I was, I was at the Hammersmith in New York, and some dude jumped off the balcony. Oh, shit. I'm not that. So nice. I don't know. There's stairs right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got a nice little run going, you know, don't, don't <laughs> fuck that up, right? All right. But, uh, yeah, we, uh, it's, like you said, um, the social media and stuff like that, uh, it's almost like, this is our first time here, and people are like, oh, I've never seen you before. It's like, oh, no, it's cool. Like, we've never been here yet, so don't feel yeah, bad. It's kind of cool with, uh, in Pennsylvania. This is actually our fourth time in Pennsylvania, but first time <laughs> was in our, Philly, uh, so. Yeah, 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 first time in we, Philly. We played, what, Wilkes Bar? Well, your headlining tour, I guess, was February, so yeah, you were yeah, in Wilkesburg. We, we so. played Wilkes Bar, um, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh and Lancaster. Lancaster, so. Cool. So, Said, uh, yeah. We already had quite a few fans, like, you know, tweeted us and messaged us that have come to the previous shows that they're coming tonight. So wow. And it's cool, like, that we we still, like, I went and bought a new phone that I can get quicker service so I can message people that. <laughs> but uh, we all sit on the bus, and whether we're writing, being dicks to each other, or just dicking around or whatever, we're also sitting on Instagram, Twitter, and we personally message as many people back as we can. Still try to keep that personal connection. So when we go to a show, we, we've never been to, for example, we haven't played in LA, but we hope to when we go there, there's gonna be 50 people. It's not just gonna be stranger fans, that they're gonna be people we've talked to before, like kind of friends. And yeah. then after we come back the next year or the year after, it's a bigger, and it turns into a big family gathering. Yeah, That's like, what we hope. It's been really cool too, like even on Michigan, where we're from, uh, the first show we ever played, like our big show, I guess, in Michigan, was sold out to 1,100 people. Wow. Um, and that was our first tour, first time playing in Michigan. Shit. And was, That's cool. Now, do you guys do meet and greets at all? Oh, yeah, we all, uh, basically, after, every time after we uh, finish a uh, show, Always, yeah, but uh, always come right out and we stay till we talk to everyone else. And that's so cool because, yeah. I mean, you know, when I used to go to shows back in the 80s, you know, um, the musicians were, I think, idolized maybe a little more because you couldn't touch them. Yeah. Yeah. You couldn't talk yeah. to them. Yeah. You couldn't interact with them, you know. And I think that that makes it even cooler for, you know, guys like me to be able to, I mean, you know, I got my site so I could talk to you, but, yeah. but I can go to the merch table after any show and, yeah. and shake the dude's hand and, holy shit, that's yeah. the guy I listen to you all the time, you know? <laughs> so, that's you know, I'm sure a lot, a lot of fans really are like, you know, oh my God. And we love it too, I mean, just getting to talk to people is... Because we were on the other side of the fence. Yeah. So many fans, that's a lot too. Oh my gosh, now when I see someone do that to me, I'm like, it's, it's, it's so insane. weird. Yeah. yeah, so we don't, like, when we do headlining shows, we'll do meet and greets, but like here, like, since it works on our headliner show, we're just going to be out and about. We'll yeah. hang out at the merch table. We'll go. We don't have to have, like when we're headlining, it's kind of like, all right, here's set time. Here's set time. You got to be here. You got to be there. Done. Go home next time. Uh, well, here's kind of like, play your show. You're done. All right, go have a beer. Go do whatever. So like, we're going to be, we're going to go hang around, talk to people, set, set the merch table for a little bit. So it's a lot, a lot I like this, a lot more yeah, relaxed, hang out. Now, being on tour with the Bianca camera, if you've yeah. been doing this for a little while, you know, they got three albums out, you know, are, are they, do they talk a little bit and give you some little tips? Absolutely, yeah. 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 It's, it's, been been yeah. it's been really cool, too, to like interact with, obviously, they're from overseas in Sweden, so it's been cool kind of get to learn all the different, you know. The jargon, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they're all really nice. And, uh, we've had a great time so far. On this one's been, what, four days, three days? Yeah, yeah this is the yeah, show, yeah. yeah. And I mean, what a tour you did. Canada, New York, Maryland, Massachusetts, Philly. And then right back, back to, yeah. right, right, right. And then we go back down. Luckily, we go through Toronto, through Michigan. So, so we, we actually get a day, day off from Michigan uh, tomorrow. I'm at the end of Toronto, which will be. So I get to go see my dog. <laughs> <laughs> but then we go to Illinois, a couple more states, and go back to Canada. And then we go all the way to Vancouver, which. Wow. I mean, never never yeah. been to Canada, and going from one end to the other. Yeah, playing side different cities in Canada. Yeah. 
It's your your EP has seven songs on it, I think. Yep, yep, right. Seven. So it's almost an album length. When do you have a full album? Uh, we're we planning. Have? I mean, we're writing like after we get off this tour, we're going to write for a little bit, then we'll do another tour and write. Um, I think the plan right now is early next year. Okay. Is what we're hoping for. Um, but cool. You know, how those things go. It can, all, it can be earlier than that. It can be later. Than that. And we just re-released our album through Fearless, so we now we have a right. space on the album. So I oh, okay, have, cool. Yeah, it's a bonus track. Yep. Oh, nice. So, All right. Yeah. So, so it's almost like a full album now. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an eight song. It's just yeah. one more. You know, like, yeah. more. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I mean, I, I think you guys are just, you know, really having an incredible run going so far. I hope so you don't have to go back to doing pizzas anytime soon. So. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you talking about